if you just created your table the new data sheet does not contain any data when the data sheet is empty the first row contains an asterisk in the record selector indicating it is a new record you can see the first row the new row appears at the bottom of the data sheet when the data sheet already contains records if you scroll down you can see the new row at the bottom let us try to add a record to a table in data sheet view there are many ways to get to the new row under home tab in the records group click on new click on new record navigation button at the bottom press control and plus keys together on the keyboard move to the last record and press the down arrow key click on go to and then click on new under the find group of the ribbon right click on any record selector and choose new record from the shortcut menu the new record is still appended to the bottom regardless of which record selector you click click on the student table and then click on the first field to enter data if the record contains an auto number field access shows the name new in the field you cannot enter a value in this type of field instead simply press the tab or enter key to skip the field access automatically puts the number in when you begin entering data in the next field you can see the one value in id field the asterisk turns into pencil when you begin entering data indicating that the record is being edited a new row containing an asterisk appears below the one you are entering data into to move to the next field in the same row press tab or use the right arrow key or click on the cell in the next field you can save the record without leaving the record by pressing shift and enter keys together on the keyboard or you can click on save in quick access toolbar you will know that the record is saved when the pencil disappears from the record selector there are different ways to save a record moving to a different record tabbing through all the fields or clicking on any of the navigation buttons at the bottom or clicking on the save in the record group of the ribbon or closing the table also save the new record to the database to save a record you must enter valid values into each field The fields are validated for data type uniqueness if indexed for unique values and any validation rules that you have entered in the validation rule property. Access validates certain types of data automatically number or currency date time. Access validates the data type when you move to the next field. When you enter a letter into a number or currency field you do not initially see a warning that the characters are invalid when you press tab to go to the next field or click a different field you get a warning you can see the warning this warning lets you choose to enter a new value or change the columns data type to text you will also get a warning when you try to enter an invalid date or time 
or an invalid character in a date time field. You can see access checks for a valid date and displays a warning message. After saving a record, before entering any data for the next record, if you press undo button, access displays warning that previous record will be deleted. Click on the undo button. You can see the warning message. Click on S. You can see the record is deleted. After you start entering data for the next record, if you press undo button, only the current record data will be undone. But you can't undo already saved record. Click on undo. You can see only the current record data is undone and the undo button is disabled now. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.